Okay, breaking out the dump truck. Here we are early April. I'm gonna haul some clay over to uh, those people I'm helping out uh, uh, fixing a pond dam leak. And we need some fresh clay right there on site. This is gonna be the easiest. It'll save them a lot of money instead of like paying for a big load to get hauled in. All right, using the new road. Saving the pond dam. We go again with the dump truck I'm not even off of our driveway yet back to doing the same old things it's just like totally missing I mean we've had so I mean it's dang near a brand new engine everything this last time it was supposed to be that air filter I mean right now I'm mashed to the pedal the floor is to the pedal and we're on a slight slight incline Okay, so what happened literally was I was turning it around to go bring it back in to the barn and as I was turning it around it started running normal again. So I drove it up my road once or twice back and forth and it cleared up. So I was hoping it was just some bad gas maybe because it's been sitting for a few months. So then I hit the road to take this clay over to that um, other farm that I'm helping out with. So I heard a noise, a really bad noise coming out. Look back and this tire's wobbling, so sure enough all the lug nuts are loose. And right now that wrench I have ain't long enough to get in them. Let's see if I got a socket big enough, I doubt it. Okay, so I'm sitting on the side of the road here. Um, I usually carry a four-way in all of my vehicles, so I suspect that at some point it got used and didn't find its way back in here. But an uh, awesome lady stopped, and she's going to go home and look for a four-way. The sockets I got aren't big enough. But, you know, how, how often does that happen? You ever had a all the lug nuts come loose? It just got brand new tires on them. Uh, last year, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, it could be worse, I suppose. I know I can get home anyways. I can limp at home because I got them... I got them a little bit snug because I could barely get that that uh, wrench on them. So, I mean, I can't tighten them, but I can snug them a tiny, tiny bit. So, we'll sit here for a while. It's a nice day. Right now, it must be about 60 and sunny, so it could be worse. So, we'll see if she finds a four-way or not. Otherwise, i got to head back for the farm slowly. Okay, a few people stopped, and one guy uh, knows what he what he needs. It's a three quarter. I'm sorry, it's a seven eighths inch socket, or four way. So uh, a few people have stopped, but they didn't have one. But this guy he lives close by. He's gonna run to his farm and get some tools. So hopefully we'll be back up and running. Thanks to the 
guy who stopped actually stopped twice. We snugged him up twice, and then one of the the uh, up in the front a flap broke loose. It's actually like a skid cover, but it's plastic. So then that was flapping all over the road. So I had to pull that off. But we're back rolling now. We'll see how the rest of the trip goes. All right, we made it to the farm. You can see the new driveway is starting to pack in nice. Working on retraining it. Man, it was rough, but I'm gonna tell you, it was really, really rough. Almost there. Beautiful place to, to work out here.